Deutsche Bank Malaysia Berhad did sought clarification from Bank Negara and Bank Negara responded by advising Deutsche Bank Malaysia Berhad that it being a business decision and as long as there was no deviation from the purpose intended and no further query was made by Bank Negara at that particular time. Bank Negara Malaysia, being the controller, did not stop the remittances or direct Deutsche Bank Malaysia Berhad to advise 1MDB to revert to Bank Negara Malaysia for review of the permission. Clearly, there was no information or further information requested by Bank Negara Malaysia at that material time. One MDB rightly furnished the information required for purposes of the remittance. The uh, relevant forms for the remittance in this case did not require, as I said earlier, the applicant to state the bank account number and the beneficiary of the same or, <coughs> or <coughs> of the same as in ordinary remittances, which would enable Bank Negara Malaysia to go one step further to verify where the funds would end up to. Since there is no such requirement or obligation, the omission on 1MDB officials part to disclose is therefore not an offence under the Act. As far as 1MDB is concerned, all it needs to do is to fill up the relevant forms and respond to the queries, if any, by Bank Negara Malaysia. If Bank Negara Malaysia does not request for certain or specific information, how could one MDB be faulted as he had filled up the forms as required and responded to the queries made?